Okay, episode 17. Now, there are a number of things I could do this episode. I could either work on the house, do some more caving, convert all this mycelium to grass finally, start a farm, get myself a better food source, or finish this mob farm. But one project that I really want to start on that I isn't already existing, and like all these other projects that I've kind of half not finished, which I, I promise I'll get to eventually, um, I would really like to make a wool farm, because I have plans in the future for wool. So I started breeding some sheep. Oh, look, one just grew. So I'm trying to make as many sheep peas as I can. I ideally want to make two of every color to start out. I have all 16 different colors here. And I basically want to breed from there every single color sheep possible. So we can have the ultimate sheep experience. And unfortunately, that means I have to wait a while because sheep take forever to be allowed to breed again. So while I'm waiting, I might actually just breed some more mushrooms because they all died, I think. I don't, I'm not sure. We'll have to see though. Also, <laughs> never turned on my volume. There we go. Oh yeah, there's still some here. I don't know why I always jump only after two blocks fall. But yeah, I see, it's weird. Okay, well I'm gonna breed these guys. And I'm going to breed some more sheep. I will likely get back to you when we have 32, because that's the ideal amount. So two of each color. But might be sooner, might be later. You know, I'm not really sure. But for the time being, I will get, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. <laughs> um, that's such a loss for words today. Doesn't that seem to happen every episode where I have no idea what I'm talking about and I kind of just ramble on? Clueless as to everything. Look at all the baby mushrooms we're making. There's so many of them. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, I will. I will definitely be back. Otherwise, that would be a really short episode. Here are my sheep, overflowing out of their cage, running around like they're on some sort of. Some sort of something there. <laughs> Just one request for you guys. Don't call PETA. Okay. Uh, now that that's all... <laughs> now that that's all done... I guess we can begin sorting them. So there's 16 different categories I need. I don't know how I'm going to do this. There are some sheep design I've seen before, but I'm not really sure. It might work well to just kind of throw them all in a fenced off area like I do now, like I have now, that also might be nice to separate them. I'm not really sure. So we're going to have to maybe try some stuff out and see what works best for us. Uh, the one thing I forgot, to <laughs> sheep need grass to regrow wool. So we're going to have to somehow utilize some grass in this I'm thinking I might have to just go for, where's my grass, go for the popular choice, or the one that seems to be used quite often and works well, where you basically have all the sheep in a line, all on top of grass, and you run along sharing them. It's a, it's a temporary, temporary way to do it. I'm sure I'll change it eventually, but for now it's probably going to be the best way I can go about it right now. So I'm going to see how that works and I'll I'll get back to you, I guess. Um, actually, <laughs> how about we plan this out? Okay, where should we start it? <laughs> yeah, I've been AFK. She's been online for probably five hours now. It's ridiculous. But that's that's good. That's good. I'm looking forward to our episodes. Um, I feel like it should be somewhere relatively flat. This might work well. Let's see. If I had, I th I think it 
if I recall, they're one block above normal. So one, two, three. I think we'll just do eight for now to kind of see how things go. Oh, look, the sheep are following me already. And then do something like that. And let's see if I can get this right. Oh, I did that wrong. I believe you just do this kind of thing. Oh, actually, I just noticed a problem with this. No, nope, gotta take it down. I'm, I think sheep are more than one block tall, so I can actually just put a solid block on top of these, and then that way I'll be able to walk normally, but I'm not sure. It'll have to be something we experiment with a little bit. So, sheep, you can be my test subject. Come here. Okay. Come here, little sheepy. Little sheepy guy. Here's some nice little... Up, oh, get on the grass. No. Oh, up here. Up here. Yes, come on up, right over, yes, no, stop, stay there. Okay, it looks like I can't place a block here, which is good. That means that the sheep is too big. Oh man, <laughs> why did I ever do that? I feel like it might need to be more than the eight blocks I have now. But that looks pretty good. I guess now it's just a matter of getting the rest of the sheep up here and making it work. I think it'll probably be best if I put them just in rows like this because it'll save space, save resources. And while it does seem a little bit cruel, I'll probably give them a better habitat later on, but for now, I mean, everything's a little bit temporary because we still need to start building down below. I don't know if I've ever said this, but I, what I eventually want to do is, you know how I just have the one like house area down below and you can't really fit anything else in there? Where it kind of goes down to the little pond below, the little waterway goes down to the pond. I want to put in a like another section down there. So kind of keep expanding outward and see how that goes. So we'll see, we'll see how that works out. But, okay, so that's four. I need 16. Ooh, that's gonna be awkward. So yeah, this is really gonna be a temporary thing because it looks like it's already not gonna fit. Okay, well now that that's all done, I've got all my sheep going here. I need a little bit of work. I have a little bit of work still to do with the whole grass and mycelium problem, but it's decent. The main thing I need to worry about is make sure that this doesn't happen. Where the grass down here, or the grass that's supposed to be up here, becomes mycelium from the sheep eating it. But I have all the sheep in their pens, <laughs> which actually took longer than you'll probably believe, because they're really stubborn. And I've got all my colors sitting here, as you have seen. And I guess we can get to the dying process. So two of each color. These guys can be red. These guys orange. Yellow. Green. Brown. Black. Gray. Lighter gray. And white. Can stay the same. Now I also need shears. And I guess... I'll need some, hmm, what's it called? <sighs> wheat, that's what I need. Wheat and shears, so I can, okay, there's my wheat. Oh, where did the blue come back from? Maybe I didn't dye them? Okay, I'll have to look at that. So I need shears, I need wheat. Let's go make us some more. Oops, that was really bad. Make us some, some wool for the sake of having wool. Well, it looks like the blue have been dyed. That's weird. I don't know. That's the wool sitting there. I guess a sheep died. I probably killed it. Because I'm like that. <laughs> okay. So, red can breed. Okay, let's see if this works out. And did they make... Oh, good. Okay, this will work perfect. It'll probably take a while before I can get all of the... pens full. But... For now, this is a good start. Oh, where's your other friend? Oh, there you are. Okay. 
So I'll breed these guys, and then I guess I can maybe shear some people too. That's kind of weird. I wouldn't expect the gray ones to breed a black baby. Um, oh, maybe they crossbred between these. Oh, that's not good. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, sheep. This just had to happen. Oh, this is so cruel. He has nowhere to run. He's just... He's just dying. His parents aren't even protecting him. Oh. I feel bad now. I guess I have to breed them. Separately. Okay, they're breeding, and now you two can breed. Make some more weight. Although I kind of have enough weight already. Okay, are they all a good color? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, I love baby animals. Ah, oh, look at all these problems. Okay. Um, I guess we can cheer them and then be done with that part. And continue on. So, let the sharing begin. Hey guys. Uh, we're back. Well, not we're back. I'm back without Carl, just for today, and we're on Estron. Hooray! Uh, hooray! Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So as you can see, we have a new person on the server. My plan is to follow him without me or without noticing. I'm here. Just a couple thing, couple more things I have to do this episode. So I was watching 36 VEs last episode and I guess he started working on his village which is not good because I was, I was planning on waiting a few weeks he actually pranked me about two weeks ago but I didn't get the video up till just a couple days ago well, that's weird But the plan is, I'm going to prank him, and that's weird. Um, it involves this. Oh god, I lost him. Where did he go? Oh no, he said negative, negative. So we'll go that way. Oh wait, this is the wrong. Oh no. Okay. Oh yeah, that's probably okay. So the plan is, where he's putting his village, I'm going to actually take my traveling carnival and stop by and just kind of wait there. Now, of course, I don't actually have a traveling carnival. I have to go make one, which is why I've been collecting all the wool. I think this is kind of not very smart, trying to find him or follow him. I'm just going to die by the creepers and stuff. So, I have all that wool that I'm getting, which will be awesome. Um, I'm going to go put a bunch of amusement rides and tents and that kind of stuff in his base. And I have to do that today, before he builds any more buildings. Because that's becoming problematic with the plan. So we'll go back to the house. I think I'm probably going to want to have about four to five stacks of each color and then I also need a ton of wood right now I have about two stacks of each color so we're not too far off okay so I've prepared myself for my journey to his base it seems like he's going to be gone all day and we're all, and I so I still have another good eight hours opportunity to prank him uh, simply because he's moving and he needs to take his computer apart and stuff so he can't, you know, be on. Which will work absolutely perfectly for us. Maybe not so much to his benefit, but I don't know, I'm bringing my sword. What would be better? Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. It'll be fine. So the plan is I'm just going to bring everything over to his base, hide it in case he does come on again. I might as well get a few more wool. So hide it in case he does come on again, 
and then once I have everything over there and I feel like I'm ready to start, I can begin.